So you've got a big front door of people coming into the church. But if you just do that, you get fat and old. Uh, and um, you need a big back door, which is church planting. Um, and that enables people to, um, well, you know, McKinsey's one of the world's leading management consultants. They get rid of 15% of their at every level so you know partners down 15 percent, and that enables everyone to have space to grow so if you're not planting people have no space to grow because you've got the same people leading the same people running alpha the same people running connect groups if you're planting you're losing leadership and people hate doing that you're losing leaders you're losing givers and you're just giving them away but Instead of being like the Dead Sea, when you've just got people, you know, the, the Dead Sea has got water coming in, just gets more and more salty, uh, but eventually it's dead. Um, and some churches can be like that. They've got people coming in, they're growing, they're whatever, but actually they don't realize that in a few years' time, if they don't plant, they're on a road that will lead to becoming like the Dead Sea. Wow. But if you're planting continually, then you've got water coming in, and water coming out. I swim in the serpentine uh, up here in the summer and um, it's, uh, it looks pretty dirty, but actually it's clean because it's, the water comes in uh, at one end and it goes down underground and into the Thames. And so actually the water is flowing through and therefore however dirty it looks, and all churches look a bit of a mess, but if, if, if you've got water coming in and water going out, however dirty it may look on the surface, actually it's safe to swim in it's clean it's healthy and um um healthy churches need people water coming in water coming out i love that so so evangelization and church planting go hand in hand